so hello hello everyone so now the new model is out there gpt 4o yes it is the one of the biggest announcements so be till the end and we are going to watch the announcement that what the amazing things uh, the open ai has released now and it is really mind blowing guys i am really shocked i am really shocked by its emotions and how it talks so let's uh, uh, let's go on the screen and let's see so this is actually the piece uh, you can just uh, see it okay um, uh, like, like it will be in the description and these all are the uh, some demos you can see also so uh, let's see one demo let's see hey how's it going hey there it's going great how about you i see you're rocking an open ai hoodie nice choice what's up with that ceiling though are you in a cool industry style office or something well, can you take a guess at what I might be doing based on what I'm showing you here? Hmm. From what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup with those lights, tripods, and pop. You can see like how this is amazing and intelligent that at the real time it can predict that what is going on. And that is quite a huge upgrade, guys. So uh, this was one thing you can also see other videos. Uh, for the testing uh let's see let's now go to the uh announcement video that they have announced and they have really well represented so uh let's watch with me and it will be sort of uh, uh 10 to 15 minutes video we'll be watching it uh fast but we'll be seeing in detail that what is going on actually so let's start with the launch guys <laughs> have you here today. Today I'm going to talk about three things. That's it. We will start with why it's so important to us to have a product that we can make freely available and broadly available to everyone. And we're always trying to find out ways to reduce friction so everyone can use ChatGPT wherever they are. So today we'll be releasing the desktop version of ChatGPT and the refreshed UI that makes it simpler to use, much more natural as well. But the big news today is that we are launching our new flagship model, and we are calling it GPT-4.0. The special thing about GPT-4.0 is that it brings GPT-4-level intelligence to everyone, including our free users. We'll be showing some live demos today to show the full extent of the capability. So guys, you can see like uh, a new desktop app and web UI update is there. So it will be actually coming in upcoming weeks. And uh, there is a new model, GPT-4.0. Yes. So we'll be seeing it like there is a more interesting things about it and it is uh, like we are going to see the live research demo that is quite amazing guys let's see abilities of our new model and we'll be rolling them out iteratively over the next few weeks all right so let's get started a very important part of our mission is to be able to make our advanced ai tools available to everyone for free we think it's very very important that people have an intuitive feel content for their students or podcasters can create content for their listeners and i meant to bring out so, all the capabilities guys we are going to see actually the demo that the, how amazing it is it is to you but today to a we're really excited to share with you today is real-time conversational speech let's just get a demo fired up so i'm thinking on a phone if you are wondering about this wired so we have consistent internet and if you see, there's this little icon on the bottom right of the ChatGPT app, and this will open up GPT-4O's audio capabilities. Hey, ChatGPT, I'm Mark. How are you? Oh, Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Hey, so I'm on stage right now. I'm doing a live demo, and frankly, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Can you help me calm my nerves a little bit? Oh, you're doing a live demo right now? That's awesome. Just take a deep breath. And remember, you're the expert. I like that suggestion. Let me try a couple deep breaths. Can you give me feedback on my breaths? Can you see the voice modulation? Like how it is expressive and how it is seems very real. So I am really amazed by it, guys. Really amazed. OK, here I go. <laughs> Whoa, slow. <laughs> 
Ooh, a bit there. Mark, you're not a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> breathe in for a count of four. Okay, uh, let me try again. So I'm going to breathe in deeply. And then, and then for four, and then exhale slowly. Okay, I'll try again. Breathing in and breathe out. <sighs> That's it. How do you feel? I feel a lot better. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, Mark, you've been working on these capabilities for a while. So, like, you can see, like, how it can understand that you are breathing in and breathing out. So, it is very close to understanding the human uh, emotions. So, it's amazing. You can, like, I also want to interact. As uh, soon as this will come, I will also come with the demo, guys. Okay. Oh, no. Wait, so, uh, you can just, see. but though, that means that you don't have this awkward, hey, you might, it really has that capability. Hey, ChatGPT, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. How about you? Pretty good. What's up? So my friend uh, Barrett here, he's been having trouble sleeping lately. And uh, I want you to tell him a bedtime story about robots and love. Oh, a bedtime story about robots and love? I got you covered. Gather round, Barrett. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Bite. Bite was a curious robot. I always like exploring. I started this story, but I want a little bit more emotion in your voice, a little bit more drama. Got it. Let's add some drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named No, no, Bite. no, ChatGPT. I really want maximal emotion, like maximal expressiveness, much more than you were doing before. Understood. Let's amplify the drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Bite. Bite so can was... Can you do this in a robotic voice now? Initiating dramatic robotic voice. <laughs> Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Bite. Bite was a curious robot, always exploring new so circuits. Seeing, uh, Barrett, here, calm down a little bit. Can you end the story, <laughs> um, but do it in a singing voice? <sighs> and so Bite found another robot friend. And they live circuitly ever after. Thank you so much. <laughs> I definitely feel a lot more relaxed. <laughs> so like, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this thing. Like how it is amazing that uh, they are really doing uh, like this voice assistant is really amazing. Really mind blowing. How it is uh, changing its voice uh, in one form to another robotic voice to other. So I hope you have enjoyed it. And let's uh, <laughs> just in the voice capabilities, but we also want to. Sh yeah, absolutely. Like, as you can see, you know, you can chat with them. It's what math problem can I help you tackle today? Now, let's see, like, how it is going to solve the math problem. Let's see about it. So I'm going to write down a linear equation on a sheet of paper and I'll show you. And then I'd love your help working me through it. But importantly, don't tell me the solution. Just help give me hints along the way. Got it. Oh. Okay, I see it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't show you yet. Just give me help <laughs> along the way. One second. Whoops. I got too excited. <laughs> I'm ready when you are. So, ChatGPT, what equation did I write down there? Ah, I see it now. You wrote down 3x plus 1 equals 4. Yep, Let's exactly. So what's the first step I should take to try to solve this? The first step is to get all the terms with x on one side and the constants on the other side. So what do you think we should do with that plus 1? Okay, I'm going to try to subtract 1 from both sides and then I'll see what I get. Great idea. Perfect. Now, what do you get when you subtract 1 from both sides? Okay, so ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? Spot on. Now you've isolated the term with x on one side, and it looks like 3x equal 3. What do you think we should do next to solve for x? I'm not sure. Can you give me another hint? Of course. You have 3x, and you want to find the value of x. 
Think about what operation would undo multiplication. Is it subtraction? Close, but think of the opposite of multiplication, because 3x means 3 times x. Okay, I think it's division. Let me try to divide both sides by 3, and let me see what I get. Bingo! Go ahead and divide both sides by 3. Okay, so ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? It looks perfect. You've solved it, and x equals 1. Nicely done. How do you feel about solving linear equations now? Yeah, honestly. Like, can you see how it is uh, doing it stepwise? Uh, like understanding the human emotions uh, going stepwise. It is not actually giving you the answer. It is giving you the hints. So this is actually going to change the whole teaching job also. So like future is very unpredictable guys and very amazing. Like we have, we'll be seeing like how it is going to change the whole things, whole industry. I, I'm not pretty confident I can solve uh, linear equations, but why would you ever need to use this in the real world? I'm really skeptical. That's a fair question. Linear equations pop up in a lot of everyday situations, even if we don't realize it. For example, calculating expenses, planning travel, cooking. A lot of unknown values in my life. Help solve some of life's myth to tackle today. So ChatGPT, I really love that you, you know, taught the value of math to my friend Mark. And I wrote uh, one last thing I'd love if you could take a look at. Of course, I'd love to see what you wrote. Show it to me whenever you're ready. Okay, so this is what I wrote down. What do you see? Ah, uh, I see. I love ChatGPT. That's so sweet of you. <laughs> yeah, well... Really, really, guys, this is, this is, this is, this is uh, awesome. Like, it is more than awesome. Can you understand, like, it has the self-perception that it is the chat GPT and how it is reacting? It is reacting like a real human. Uh, like, this is a very uh, amazing launch by OpenAI. And for this, please hit the like button, subscribe this channel for uh, more updates. Let's uh, continue this video. Uh, this is really amazing. Well, I really appreciate all the help. <laughs> so yeah, as we can see... <laughs> you've got on yeah, as we can Love. see you know we can chat in real time to chat gpt and not only that we can interact with it with uh and do linear equations can you yes i was talking about before okay and to give a bit of background on what's going on so so let's see like how it is working on the code okay so here we have um a computer and on the screen we have some code and then i'm going to talk about the code to chat how's it going yeah, it's going really well. I was wondering if you could help me with a uh, coding problem today. Of course, I'd love to help you out. What's the coding problem you're dealing with? Okay, I'm gonna share with you some code. One second. Sure thing, take your time. Okay, so I just shared some code with you. Could you give me a really brief one sentence description of what's going on in the code? This code fetches daily weather data for a specific location and time period, smooths the temperature data using a rolling average, annotates a significant code. There's this function foo. Can you describe to me what the plot would look like if I had versus didn't have this function? Sure. The function foo x y takes in a data frame x containing temperature data and a window size smoother. In uh, Take your time. I'm excited to see the plot when you're ready. Yeah, so so far ChatGPT has only been able to see the code, and now I'm going to run it, and then I'll use the vision capabilities of the ChatGPT desktop app so it can actually see everything going on on the screen as well. Okay, ChatGPT, I'm sharing with you the plot now. I'm wondering if you can give me a really brief one-sentence overview of what you see. The plot displays smoothed average, minimum, and maximum temperatures throughout 2018, with a notable annotation marking a big rainfall event in late September. Fantastic. I have another question for you. Um, which months do you see the hottest temperatures, and roughly what temperatures do those correspond to? The hottest temperatures occur around July and August. The maximum temperature during these months is roughly between 25 degrees and 30 degrees, 77 degrees Fahrenheit to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. What's going on with the y-axis? Is this in Celsius or Fahrenheit? The y-axis is in Celsius. 
The temperatures are labeled accordingly, such as average temperature, minimum temperature, and maximum temperature. Yeah. So as we can see, you know, not only can ChatGPT help me solve. So you can see like this is this is I am this is going to be the free guys. So this is going to actually revolutionize the, the thing. Like I have the one thing for this thing is the revolution. This is the complete revolution, guys. And it is OpenAI is giving it for the free. And that is the amazing part of it. So it's all uh, very like, easy. Uh, for what they would like us to try. Sure. Yeah, let's do it. Right. Yeah. I, I um, speak Italian, so thanks for asking. How about you? How's cool. your day going? I'm uh, doing great. So I would like you to function as a translator. I have a friend here who only speaks Italian, and I only speak English. And uh, every time you hear English, I want you to translate it to Italian. And if you hear Italian, I want you to translate it back to English. Is that good? Perfetto. <laughs> Mark, io mi chiedo se le balene potessero parlare, cosa ci direbbero? Mike, she wonders if whales could talk, what would they tell us? Um, they might ask, uh, how do we solve linear equations? Potrebbero chiederci come risolviamo le equazioni lineari. <laughs> Sicuramente sì. <laughs> Certainly yes. <laughs> Great, it looks like it works. <laughs> <laughs> like this is mind blowing it is also working with the real time translator so this technology was not there i think uh, like there was google translator but uh, that was not that much famous so now it is there and it is going to be free guys all right so the next one is from burrito john 78 who asks <laughs> can you tell what you're feeling just by looking at your face <laughs> Barrett, do you want to give this one a try? <laughs> Absolutely, let's try it out. <laughs> mm. So now it is going to detect the emotions that how it is going to, like how chat GPT, like this model is uh, going to see your face and telling you that, okay, this is your emotion and uh, see or he will behave something like that. Hey, chat GPT. Hey there, what's up? How can I brighten your day today? Okay, yeah, so I'm going to show you um, a selfie of what I look like, and then I'd like you to try to see what emotions I'm feeling based on how I'm looking. Sounds like a fun challenge. Go ahead and show me that selfie, and I'll put my emotional detective hat on. Okay, so here's me. So what kind of emotions do you think I'm feeling? <laughs> hmm, it seems like I'm looking at a picture of a wooden surface. Oh, you know what? Um, that what? was the thing I sent you before. Don't worry, I'm not actually a table. Um, okay, so, so take, take another look. Ah, uh, that makes more sense. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. It looks like you're feeling pretty happy and cheerful, with a big smile and maybe even a touch of excitement. Whatever's going on, it seems like you're in a great mood. Care to share the source of those good vibes? Yeah, no, uh, the reason I'm in a really good mood is because we were doing a presentation showcasing how useful and amazing you are. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're making me blush. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Well, that's it for today on live demos. So this was the thing, guys. Like, how you liked it? Like, you have really liked this. Uh, I hope that uh, uh, you really um, like this thing. And uh, what is your thoughts on this thing? Please comment below. I and please like this video and subscribe this channel. Uh, we'll be coming with the detailed videos for uh, like uh, decoding everything. Uh, after it will be launched so please stay tuned with the channel and please subscribe this channel guys okay and leave your beautiful comments below thank you so much guys thank you so much